Hi, I'm Brian Russell, and I want to give you a brief reflection of what it means to learn to speak human. As communicators, our, our goal is to take the deep truths of the gospel and help the people that we're speaking with and communicating with, whether that's in a, a sermon setting, whether it's teaching, whether you're just having a conversation about God with a friend or a colleague at work or with your neighbors or uh, spontaneously as, as, as the opportunity permits. The key thing is we want to connect the gospel with the context so that the person that we're speaking with actually hears what we think we're trying to say. Let me say that again. We want to make sure that what we say is what the person actually hears. Again, there can always be misunderstandings, but as, as, as agents of God's abundance, we want to be able to communicate clearly using language and words that actually cut through and allow our audience, whether it's a person or a group, again, to hear precisely what it is that we intend to communicate. Jesus was the master of this, and, and he models this from the very beginning in his uh, earthly ministry. You may recall that Jesus begins his ministry, and we're looking at Matthew's account in 417 by announcing the kingdom. And then the very next paragraph, Jesus begins to call disciples to himself. And Jesus must have been a very powerful teacher because the Gospels report that people responded immediately to him. But notice part of the secret of that in uh, Matthew. Uh, while he was walking along the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, the one called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting nets into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, come follow me, and I will make you fishermen of other people. And you know, we've probably heard those words uh, many times, if not hundreds of times. There's even a little kid songs, I will make you fisher of men. But stop for a second and ask yourself this. What would Jesus have said to Simon and Andrew if they hadn't have been fishermen? Would he have still said, I'll make you fishers of men? Because in a sense, what's Jesus doing? He's, 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 he's inviting the disciples onto mission with him. He's inviting them to become uh, agents of reconciliation. As Paul might say, he's calling them to make disciples as uh, Matthew's gospel is going to, uh, that's the language Matthew's gospel is going to use in Matthew 28. So why does Jesus pick fishermen? Why does he use that language? Well, well this is one of the key things to learning how to speak human. Jesus wants to make sure that he's not simply teaching so that his listeners learn information that they can you know that they could spit back on a, on a test or just rote memory jesus is teaching so that he can so that he can practice and help his audience to learn in ways that are transforming so our, our, our teaching has to can't just be about information, it has to be about transformation. And when we learn to speak human, we're going to be choosing language that directly connects the core truths of the gospel with what people already know. Again, think of the, the, the model here. Jesus isn't just showing that the immediate response to the proclamation of the kingdom is to call community. Jesus is actually teaching us by the very words that he used to reach his initial disciples how to actually replicate that. And so you don't go into the world today and, and call people to be fishers of men. This is an invitation to look at our context carefully. Because again, notice what Jesus does. Jesus isn't even waiting for people to come to him. It says he was while he was walking along the Sea of Galilee. So Jesus models for what it me means to learn to speak human by illustrating that if we want to learn how to use language that actually connects with our audience, we have to hang around in those contexts. And then number two, we need to choose those, those right words. Again, Mark Twain said the difference between the right word and the not so right word is the same as the difference between lightning and a lightning bug. 
Jesus was able to speak meaningfully and powerfully to Simon and Andrew because when, when he was trying to describe the mission that he was calling them to, he drew from a metaphor and an illustration directly from their life. They were fishermen. They knew what that meant. They were going to prepare nets. They were going to throw nets out. and They were going to bring a whole bunch of fish in. So they immediately were able to be transformed, not just informed about what Jesus was calling them to. And then they were able to leave those things behind and then follow Jesus into the world to become part of his missional community that exists to embody and to reflect the values and ethos of God's good news, the kingdom, to the rest of the world. And that's what he calls us to as well. Um, so let's learn to speak human. Again, I'm Brian Russell, 